Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mary. I'm a homeschooling mama to a pre k -er and a first grader. And most recently I dropped my curriculum picks for homeschooling for 2024 to 2025 school year. We are year round homeschoolers. However, we will be starting next year's school year right at the end of July. So I went ahead and got those curriculum picks out because we already knew what we were doing. We kind of have a long term plan in our head of what we want to do over the next couple of years. So I thought, why wait, get them out there. I know people are starting to shop curriculums and they want more information about them so they can start planning for themselves as well. So I know there's super Super helpful to get those out. Now with that, one of the curriculum picks for next year is our American Girl U.S. History that we're going to be doing next year. My girls will be five and seven at the end of the summer. So I thought rather than delving into full-blown history quite yet, I thought we could do a fun, gentle introduction to American history and what better way of doing it since I have two little girls through American Girl. Now, Little School of Smith, uh, she created this program and I think it's absolutely wonderful. Technically, it is eight units that I've combined to create one year's worth of curriculum. Each girl is a unit and they're all four weeks long. So eight units for four weeks gives you a 32 week curriculum and you can roll them in chronological order so that you're basically going from the uh, mid 1700s through to the mid 1900s when it comes to American history. Now I got tons of requests from people in different videos that I've mentioned this curriculum asking, hey, can you do a flip through? I'd be very interested. It sounds like a lot of you guys have similar age kiddos, especially girls who are interested in it. Now I say girls especially, but I think she's done a great job because I'll show you in here. She also includes resources for boys. So this is not just for girls. Boys can also participate participate to if you have um, a guy coming along for it she gives you resources that cater a little bit more to them as well too so I have not officially done this curriculum yet so I cannot give it a review at this point I will absolutely be doing so over the course of next year I thought I'd actually do individual videos on each of the girls so that you guys can see a little bit of the activities we did kind of get a sense of how we were enjoying it etc but I know a lot of people want to see a little bit more in depth about the curriculum. So I'm going to do a flip through for, through you guys and kind of show you the logistics of how it's planned out. So you can see, hmm, does that make sense? Would that be able to fit into our curriculum for next year? I don't want to show too much of it because obviously I don't want to give away um, the horse with the farmer. I don't know, whatever the saying is, y'all know what I'm talking about, um, because obviously she has worked really hard on this and um, I want her to obviously um, benefit from y'all going to her shop and buying it because I think it's absolutely well worth its weight in gold. Um, but I do know that seeing inside under the hood, so to speak, of the car um, a little bit more lets you decide, is this the right curriculum for you or not? So I'm gonna do a flip through, a flip through for you guys. Ooh, I'm having a hard time talking. Um, and I'm also gonna show you the books that go along with it. Um, now, something I wanted to note real quick, I broke my camera between filming this video and my last video. So I'm at present filming this on my iPhone. I have it in 4K. We'll see if it's as good as my uh, Sony camera, but um, if not, please forgive me for the grainy quality of this video. <laughs> I don't know how it's turning out. It looks great from my per perspective, but who knows when it gets on YouTube if it's gonna look just as good. So before I do the official flip through of this, I was just gonna share with you some of the books that will be required for each of the units, for each of the girls. Um, but first, let me just show you the sequence and scope. So you'll see we have Kaya, we have Felicity, Josephina, Kirsten, Addie, Samantha, Kit, and then Molly. Now, this is a digital PDF uh, curriculum that you will see, receive. She'll send you a file immediately. And what I did was actually, she provides this little cover sheet for free in her shop. If you wanna go check that out, you can go ahead and just print that off right now. But then what I did was I got dividers and I have eight dividers in this binder and I printed off each girl and put each girl in a divider chronologically. So we have Kaya and I just love the artwork that goes along with this. Um, and then we have all the girls under each different tab and I'll do a full flip through. But just so you understand, you will need 
spine wise you will need some of the girls books there's a ton of additional literature books that she recommends that you um, either get from your library or if you want to go ahead and purchase you can to really fulfill more of that enrichment piece of it to really get more information but at minimum you want to get the girls books I'll use kit as an example so each of these original girls have a book called welcome to so-and-so's world so this is welcome to kit's world these are larger books that you can find thrifted and they just have so many great pictures it's more of the historical piece of it like look at that that's beautiful I'm trying to make sure the glare is not getting it but this just gives you more background on the time period that the girl grew up in and our u.s history of course through that so you see just wonderful photos so you'll need this along with three other books from the girl. So you're definitely gonna need the meat, the notebook number one for each um, girl meat kit in this situation, you're gonna need that. Then you'll need either um, Kit Learns a Lesson or I think some of the other girls, kit, um, I think maybe it's Josephina Saves the Day. There's a few others. And then, oh, Kit Saves the Day. So in order to do Kit's unit, you will need Meet Kit, Kit Learns a Lesson, and then Kit Saves a Day, along with Welcome to Kit's World. So these are the four books, spines I'll call it, you will need to do Kit's four week unit. There are additional books, again, that you can check out that she gives you long lists of, but you don't need all of them. You could frankly just do it with these guys and YouTube and internet searching and be just fine. Um, so there's a little bit for everyone, but at minimum you need these guys. Now, if you cannot find this book, all American Girl books are out of print, but there are plenty of them out there. I had no problem sourcing all of these and all of them are for them either in very good condition or above. Um, I think I maybe got one that was a little, uh -uh, and that was it. I mean, all of them are in beautiful condition. You can easily find these, and especially there's a lot of people out there doing this program and they will be selling them in bulk. Like when I finish this program, well, I can't sell them. My girls would probably murder me in my sleep. When my girls are no longer interested in American Girl Doll, I will put all of these up for sale in one big combo discounted bundle and I'll put it out there to you guys if you want to get it. <laughs> How about that? That might be a few years that my girls really like American Girl Doll. But in some scenarios, you can't find the meat so-and-so's world. For example, Kaya, I could not find that book that meet Kaya's world um, for less than $150 was insane all the rest of these books I was able to find for sub 20 bucks some of them ten dollars Kaya's for some reason is the hot ticket item and people are taking advantage of it and they were charging oodles of money so in that situation if you either cannot find it or it is financially irresponsible for you to buy it you can then go ahead and just get all six of the books in her series because the great part is that I didn't know about this even when I was a kid is that in the back of these books they have what's called a looking back section and this will have it's basically mini versions of that it's just not all in one book and it's in the back of these small books so you can still do the unit study if you can't find the meat, the meat uh, Kaya's world and just get all six of these small books that are in her series. So that's a little tip and trick for you guys, because this was a lot. Buying three more of these books at $4 each was way cheaper than spending $150 on that big book. The pictures aren't as big, of course, because they're in these small books and it's not as, you know, all condensed in one. I'm okay so saving the money and looking at smaller pictures. My kids can deal. <laughs> so really quick, I thought I'd just go through each girl and show you the books that you will need for that girl's unit study. Okay, so going in chronological order, Meet Kaya is the first American girl you will go through. So you need Meet Kaya, Kaya's Hero, Kaya and Lone Dog, Kaya Shows the Way, Changes for Kaya, and then Kaya's Escape. If you choose to not get all six of these and you just want to do the first three, then you can scrap the second three and you would just do Kaya's World if you can find it at a more reasonable price. Next up, we have Felicity. So you would need Welcome to Felicity's World. You would need Meet Felicity. Felicity Learns a Lesson. 
and changes for Felicity. Now, this is me being a total nerd, but this is like first edition <laughs> book from 1992. And I was so excited when this came back through uh, Thrift Books. It's in pretty good condition. I mean, the cover is a little beat up, but beyond that, it's in beautiful condition. Oh, how great is this? This is like history in and of itself, you guys. <laughs> Does anybody remember library cards in the... Um, Never mind. I'll just move on because I just dated myself. But that's what you need for Felicity. Josephina, you need Welcome to Josephina's World. Meet Josephina. Josephina learns a lesson. And happy birthday, Josephina. For Kirsten, you will also need the Welcome to Kirsten's World. Meet Kirsten. Kirsten learns a lesson. And then happy birthday, Kirsten. Addie, you will need the Welcome to Addie's World. Meet Addie. Addie learns a lesson, and Addie saves a day. This is one of those, again, it's a, an original, a first edition, but somebody put a sticker on it. Next up, we have Samantha. You'll need Welcome to Samantha's World. Meet Samantha. Samantha learns a lesson, and Happy Birthday, Samantha. We already talked about it, but I just figured I'd show you one more time. Welcome to Kit's World. Meet Kit. Kit learns a lesson. And Kit saves the day. And last but not least, we have Welcome to Molly's World. You'll need Meet Wa Molly. Molly learns a lesson. And Happy Birthday, Molly. So while I have the camera turned around, I thought I'd do a quick flip through to show you kind of how the program works and what it looks like inside of the curriculum. So again, this cover was free to print off. You can go to our website right now and print it off if you would like. It also comes with a table of contents so you can see who is what. There's also a board game that you can print at the end that you can use for doing games with the girls, which I think is just so fun. So you're going to go from mid-1764 to mid-1944, ending with World War II with this curriculum, if you combine all the girls chronologically. Now, at any given point, you can just do one of these units if you prefer. You can buy them individually, but if you buy them all together, and generally she runs a deal at certain points, I got that deal. And I think I got all of this for sub $40. So I would recommend waiting for a deal and go grabbing all the units. Even if you're not going to do them all at once, if you think you might even do more than two, go ahead and do buy them in bulk. So let's look at Kaya. I think that's a good one to start with since it's the first one we do. So from here, we'll get a perspective of what it was like growing up as a Native American in the mid-1700s. Um, and what she does is she, she goes over how to use this guide. She does narration notebooks with this program, and I think it's absolutely perfect. We are going to get these beautiful Canon XL uh, watercolor notebooks, um, and we're going to use those as our history narration notebooks for all of the girls. I think we'll be able to do all the girls in one notebook each, and they'll have this little keepsake to use for later. So I think it's going to be great. Um, and again, she provides a full-on supply list. And then she also breaks down per week. And then she also provides you a book list. And again, what you'll need, these are the neat books you absolutely need, but then suggested books for further additional learning. So with Kaya, we learn about the, um, the Nez Pierce. I'm probably saying it wrong. I think it's actually sp said differently, but I'm trying. <laughs> we'll learn about Appaloosa horses. Um, salmon was a very um, big part of their uh, culture from a uh, nutritional perspective, but also in other ways. Um, and then we'll learn a little bit about the Lewis and Clark expedition. Here's what I was mentioning about her providing additional resources if you have boys that are joining you in this um, this study. And also forgive me, my daughter's behind me looking at all the books if you can hear her. Um, so here's some additional books and reading she gives that are really great for boys to connect with the material a little better. So week one where it, she shows you, she breaks it down. So these are the books she'll be reading, um, this section of her Kaya's world, or she also mentions you can substitute with the looking back section in the book of Meet Kaya. Then also you'll read Meet Kaya this week. So you read one of the girl's books per week, essentially. Then she provides additional videos for you to look at, um, the books that she recommends, what narration you should be doing for this week in your notebook. And then she always provides, well, not always, but for the most part, I think she does some kind of snack or activity that you can do, um, which my girls were most excited about this, <laughs> the TP snack. Then she also provides a map because there's going to be a map activity that week. The girls are super excited about doing a lot of these activities. 
And then, um, so here's an example picture of what I mean by the narration notebook. So she, she recommends getting the Canon XL watercolor notebooks. And then what you can do is print this off. You can glue it into the notebook and do writings or um, any narrations you wanna do. Here's some additional crafts that we're gonna be doing. Basket weaving here. We're gonna learn about different types of salmon. See that here's the basket weaving she gave us the template for. I mean, and then, ooh, salmon with brown sugar glaze. Who doesn't love that? If you want your kids to eat something, put sugar on it. <laughs> um, but I think this is just going to be such a fun time next year. And I'll just show you a little bit more into Felicity because Felicity is my personal favorite because I love colonial America time period. So again, the unit set up the same way. She walks through how do you utilize this unit. A little bit more about the narration notebook. Um, she talks about extended learning and then your supply list all put together in one spot. And then your book list that you'll need for this week. And then read alouds for boys, movies, videos that you can, I mean, she just provides so many resources. You do not have to do everything, but she provides you enough for everybody to be happy, right? Where you can pick and choose or do it all. If you guys really love doing this stuff, do it all and just really immerse yourself in it. Um, my girls are actually pretty excited about doing the quill pen craft and dyeing the paper with tea to make it like parchment paper. So, oh man, this is going to be such a fun time next year. All right, guys, I hope that flip through was super helpful to you if you're looking at the program and thinking about doing it next year. Um, if there's anything I didn't cover, or you have questions about anything, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Um, and I hope seeing the books that you would need is helpful too, because I do think it's important to realistically think, okay, I've got to get all these books to make it work. What does that budget look like? Because it, it gets a little hefty, right? Even just doing the main spines for the girls, um, that can get pretty expensive. But as long as you thrift the books, if you, um, you know, utilize bookfinder.com, there's so many ways to find these books so inexpensively. And if you make the decision to do this ahead of time, you can give yourself more time to find those books and not just pull the trigger on the most expensive one you see, if that makes sense. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.